There is a new case of homicide in the department. This time, the unfortunate fact was recorded in the Morris Landing neighborhood in recent days. Authorities are conducting investigative activities to achieve the whereabouts of those responsible. As Eric Moreno Cabarca was identified by the authorities as the person who was found without vital signs in the sector of Morris Landing after being shot with a firearm by a subject who arrived in the sector and without mediating words assaulted the victim and immediately after committing the criminal act fled the scene. Through a telephone call to the 123 number, a person is reported wounded with a firearm in the Morris Landing sector. Immediately, the quadrant and the judicial police are ordered to deploy. And upon arriving at the scene, they found the lifeless body of Mr. Eric Moreno Cabarca. With neighborhood work and information provided by the family, they point to a subject who arrives and kills this person. At this time, the national police are advancing all the work of collecting evidence and evidentiary material that allows and leads to the clarification of this incident. And the national police support the family and reject all these facts and invites the public to report any situation that allows the clarification of this case. The authority has been conducting all the necessary inspections and investigations from the first moment in order to clarify this fact that once again leaves a family in mourning in the department. A tourist from the city of Cali died after attempts by medical staff at the Clarence Lee Newball Departmental Hospital. The cause of the death was due to the seriousness of the injuries caused by the propeller of a boat yesterday. A 26-year-old woman from the city of Cali died in the early hours of the morning, exactly at 1.15 a.m. The cause was a cardiac arrest due to massive blood loss generated by the severity of her injuries that were caused by the propeller of a boat. The incident occurred yesterday in the area known as Ibiza, where the young woman who was chatting with her friends got off the boat that was parked next to a yacht to pick up her flip-flops, and meanwhile the boat, to avoid robbing the yacht that at the time of the facts was about to sail, retreated without noticing the presence of the woman in the water, causing her serious injuries with the propeller of the boat. Around 5.20 p.m. yesterday, November 27th, the patient named Natalia Larrañaga from the city of Cali was admitted to the emergency room of the departmental hospital, presenting multiple wounds in the lumbar region, buttocks and lower limbs, and in very bad general condition. Presenting a hypovolemic shock caused by massive blood loss, the patient was admitted to surgery where two surgeons tried to save her life in a complex surgery given the multiple damages that the patient presented, who was unstable all the time. She also presented a cardiac arrest of about two minutes, according to reliable sources at the hospital, and later she was admitted to the ICU with a reserved prognosis. At around 12.50 midnight, the 26-year-old woman presented a cardiac arrest due to massive blood loss, and unfortunately, she died at approximately 1.15 in the morning. Tele Islas News tried to contact the port captaincy, which indicated that they would give a statement on the incident later. This news agency regrets the facts and sends condolences to the family of the young Cali girl. And in other news, the Attorney General's Office asked the national and territorial authorities to implement actions for the conservation and protection of beaches and rocky coastline of the island of San Andres and the coral tissue in this jurisdiction affected by coastal erosion along the coast, which has increased due to the passage of hurricanes Eta, Iota, and Julia. The Attorney General's Office has requested the Ministry of Environment, the Risk Management Unit, the Departmental Government, and the Coralina Corporation to implement an action plan to address the phenomenon of coastal erosion that occurs in rocky coastal areas and on the beaches of the island of San Andres, especially after the hurricanes that have occurred in recent times. The control entity requested to prioritize action for the recovery of the coastal 
coastal area and at the same time to study the possible solution for the relocation of the houses located in risk areas. Therefore, it is requested the aforementioned entities to submit the public prosecutor's office the action plan in the short, medium and long terms to restore the damage caused by the passage of the three hurricanes and the action plan to prevent the next climate events for irreversible affecting these strategic areas. The Ombudsman also warned about the imminent arrival of the stony coral tissue last disease to the coral reef of the archipelago of San Andres Wood Providence and Santa Catalina, which affects the loss of coral tissue and drastically damage the marine coastal ecosystem, requesting the Ministry of Environment and Sustainable Development the progress to the date of the Atlantic and the Gulf Rapid Reef Assessment Program and the future institutional action plan of the environmental authorities. The control entity also emphasized the need to carry out an articulated work between the authorities for the protection and conservation of the ecosystems of the archipelago, which is nationally and internationally recognized by its declaration by UNESCO as a sea floor biosphere reserve, with which Colombia committed as a country to design and implement sustainable development strategies for the effective conservation of the biodiversity. In recent days, the departmental government was able to carry out a process of restitution of public space in the South Ball Stadium, which was a success since the occupants agreed to leave voluntarily. The departmental government reached a common agreement with people who were illegally occupying a property annexed to the South Ball Stadium. The process of restitution of public space was successful, as the occupants of the construction recognized the offense and voluntarily dismantled the building, thanks to the fact that a warning had been previously issued. In this establishment of these public spaces, we are here in the process of demolition of what was called the kiosk Lorenzo. That infrastructure had a process that was executed on July 23rd of this year and had not been able to be done until now. Thank God without any problem, without any setback, we have been able to carry out the operation with those who lived here who agreed to dismantle the kiosk without us having to use the machinery. This action is due to the fact that the person who had the contract to occupy the space died, just casting judicial termination. We will continue with the process of recovering public spaces in all areas of San Andres. This is the first case and we will continue working. The government of the island, the Secretariat of Planning and its other agencies will be working in a structural way to constitute the restitution of public space that has been violated by those who build without licenses. Under the slogan, Sea Flower Free of Waste, the local government and the environmental corporation Coralina will hold on November 29th and 30th a post-consumer collection day. Under the slogan, Sea Flower Free of Waste, the local government and the environmental corporation Coralina will hold on November 29th and 30th a post-consumer collection day. We invite the community of the island of San Andres to bring their post-consumer waste of expired or partially consumed medicines, lights, fluorescent bulb, peripherals and electronic waste, household pesticides and bad so that we all have our homes clean in view of the Christmas season. Those who wish to participate may bring their items to the Coral Palace Plaza where there will be a collection team. The activity will take place from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. The details of the crowning ceremony of Miss Elderly Woman of the Year will be broadcasted by Teleisla's regional channel this afternoon. In our midday broadcast, we share some bits and pieces with you. Rosina Forbes was the happy winner at the week of the visibilization of elderly women in San Andres. With music and a lot of dancing, the protagonists of the coronation night of the Senior Women's Week enjoyed the last day of this activity. Family, friends, acquaintances and fans of the event and spaces like this filled the auditorium of the Bolivariano School to witness the presentation of the five candidates. Rosina Forbes took home the crown for her remarkable intervention in the events and 
and the activity developed during the whole week. If you could not be at the coronation night, there is no need to worry because everything was recorded by the cameras of Tele Islas and will be broadcast this evening from 6 until 7.30 p.m. And now we'll continue with other events. There are news today in our brief news section. The Coralina Environmental Corporation conducted an awareness campaign on the importance of maintaining and preserving the beaches of the archipelago clean with the purpose of generating environmental awareness. At the same time, plastic waste was collected in the Spratbite area. Work began on the repair and beautification of the lifeguard towers on the beaches of Sprat Bight in preparation for the end of year tourist season, where a large number of domestic and foreign visitors are expected to arrive. The towers will be equipped with a decent ramp, wood repairs and window adjustments. The Social State Enterprise Departmental Hospital, through the Collective Intervention Plan and members of CDA, conducted an environmental health session for the benefit of the Buenos Aires sector. During the activity, the interdisciplinary group raised awareness going from house to house on water disinfection for human consumption, thus avoiding the proliferation of mosquitoes and avoiding dengue. Also, tanks and cisterns were chlorinated the Secretariat of Public Services joined the session through the cleaning and collection of waste in a different sector. With this information, we reach to the end of this broadcast. We see you tonight at 8 p.m. with more Tele Islas News. Good afternoon.